Have you ever considered that your kidneys might be silently crying for help? In this video, I'll explore the signs that are easy to overlook, but could be crucial indicators of kidney damage. This is going to be a very detailed video on kidney failure in which I will talk about the symptoms that you should never ignore. Before we start, please note that the information in this video is unbiased, fact-checked, and reviewed by qualified health experts. With that said, let's start the video. What are the causes of kidney failure and how can you support your kidney health through dietary choices? Additionally, what signs might you observe before your kidneys start to fail? The kidney is a remarkable organ containing more than one million small filters, called nephrons, that actively purify the blood. The difference between a kidney and a car's engine oil filter is that the kidneys not only eliminate harmful substances during this filtration process, but also reabsorb valuable compounds into the body. If the kidney's filtration function diminishes, not only it leads to the loss of essential proteins and nutrients in the body, but also the toxic compounds start flowing back into the body. This backflow of toxins can have widespread detrimental effects, causing harm and destruction throughout the body. Whether you're witnessing symptoms in the early or late stages of kidney disease, the underlying reason is the compromised filtration function of the kidneys. It's crucial to be attentive to these signs, as they indicate a potential risk to your kidney health. The initial indication of kidney failure is edema, which is swelling in the body. When your kidneys aren't working well, your body retains water because it loses essential proteins and nutrients. This leads to swelling that can occur in various parts of your body. The most common type is called pitting edema, where your lower extremities, like your legs, become swollen. If you press your finger against the swollen area, it leaves an indentation, like a pit. Edema can also manifest under your eyes, causing puffy and swollen bags. This occurs because harmful substances that should be removed from your body are not removed and are backflowing in the body. The next sign of kidney failure is uremic frost. This occurs when small white urea spots develop on your skin, usually on the head. The reason behind this is the inability of the damaged kidneys to remove uric acid from the body, causing it to come out through the skin. High blood pressure is another concern. Imagine your blood as water flowing through pipes. When the walls of these pipes are damaged, the water pressure increases. Similarly, as blood enters the kidneys for filtration, slow kidney function results in high blood pressure. This heightened pressure further damages the kidneys. Think of your kidneys as a water filter at home. If water passes through it with excessive pressure, the filter can get damaged. Similarly, when blood flows into the kidneys with increased pressure due to kidney issues, it worsens the condition of the kidneys. The next sign of kidney failure is that you always remain exhausted. When your body breaks down proteins, a substance called urea is produced as a byproduct. Normally, your kidneys play a crucial role in removing this urea from the bloodstream and excreting it through urine. This process helps maintain a healthy balance of substances in your body. In cases where the kidneys are not functioning properly, such as due to damage or disease, they may struggle to eliminate urea effectively. As a result, the levels of urea in the blood can rise, leading to a condition known as uremia. This buildup of urea and other waste products can contribute to feelings of fatigue and exhaustion. When excess urea accumulates in the body, it can affect various organ systems, leading to symptoms beyond fatigue. These may include nausea, loss of appetite, difficulty concentrating, and changes in urine output. If you consistently experience unexplained fatigue or notice any of these symptoms, it is crucial to consult with a healthcare professional. They can conduct tests to evaluate kidney function and determine the underlying cause of the urea buildup, allowing for appropriate management and treatment. Early detection and intervention can play a vital role in preserving kidney function and overall well-being. The next sign is that proteins start coming out along with urine. When you have an issue with your kidneys, your urine may start containing proteins. Proteins are essential for the body's normal functioning. However, if your kidneys are not functioning properly, referred to as abnormal kidneys, they struggle to reabsorb these proteins back into the body. As a result, these important proteins end up being expelled from the body through urine. This is a significant signal 
As the normal function of the kidneys is to filter the blood and keep essential substances, like proteins, in the body. When proteins are found in the urine, it indicates that the kidneys might not be doing their job effectively. Doctors pay close attention to the presence of proteins in the urine because it serves as an indicator of how well your kidneys are working. If proteins consistently appear in the urine, it can be a sign of kidney damage. Therefore, doctors use this information to diagnose and assess the health of your kidneys. The sixth concern relates to your body becoming too acidic. This happens when there's an imbalance in ammonia levels, which usually act as a kind of protective shield against acidity. However, when your kidneys aren't working properly, they can't help neutralize the excess acid. Another factor contributing to increased acidity is having high levels of sugar in your blood. If your body doesn't have enough insulin, a hormone that regulates blood sugar, it can make your body even more acidic. Now, if you don't take care of these issues, a risky process called ketoacidosis can kick in. This process can lead to rapid weight loss. It's important to note that ketoacidosis is different from the normal fat loss associated with something called ketosis. Ketoacidosis involves an unusual breakdown of fat cells, causing a swift drop in weight. In simpler terms, the key issues here are imbalances in ammonia levels, high blood sugar, and a lack of insulin, all of which can make your body too acidic. If not addressed, this can trigger a process that rapidly reduces your weight, and it's essential to differentiate this from the healthy fat loss encouraged by ketosis. Keeping these factors in check is crucial for maintaining a healthy balance in your body. Now, let's explore some primary causes of kidney damage. The primary cause is elevated sugar levels in your body. The sugar that goes through your kidneys acts like abrasive materials, harming the internal kidney parts especially affecting blood vessels. Sugar damages four parts of body, kidneys, eyes, nervous system, and blood vessels. A normal blood sugar level is around 80 milligrams per deciliter, equivalent to four grams of sugar or one teaspoon. However, the typical dietary intake is about 15 teaspoons or more. This excess sugar, often found in bakery items like pizza and pasta, which may not immediately show up as abnormal blood sugar in tests. This is because the body works hard to remove it through insulin leading to fatigue and restlessness. Eliminating sugar for just 14 days can show significant improvements. Sugar also hardens blood vessels, causing a loss of elasticity and high blood pressure. Vitamin D deficiency, often seen in kidney failure, contributes to high blood pressure. Low potassium levels, another consequence of kidney failure, also lead to high blood pressure, creating a cycle of diseases. Controlling carbohydrates and sugar in your diet is crucial. If you're dealing with late-stage kidney disease, your doctor may advise against high potassium intake. To prevent late-stage kidney disease, potassium is essential for kidney protection. Additionally, low vitamin D levels are common in kidney damage, resulting in low calcium levels. This depletion leads to calcification, plaque formation in arteries, joint damage, and kidney stone formation. Include vegetables like cabbage, celery, broccoli, cucumber, cauliflower, especially cabbage leaves, radish leaves, turnip leaves, carrot, spinach, and other green leafy vegetables in your diet. These foods contain phytonutrients that aid in uric acid detoxification, possess antioxidative properties, and help eliminate toxic compounds from the body. They contribute to kidney protection, improved sleep quality, and enhanced focus at work. When considering protein sources, it's not necessary to consume excessive amounts, but it's also important not to maintain a consistently low protein diet. Optimal protein intake can be achieved through various sources. Include fish in your meals, aiming for a quantity between 50 to 150 grams. Additionally, incorporate seafood and chicken into your diet, along with egg whites. Prioritize organic foods over synthetic alternatives, as they offer quality nutrition. It's essential to steer clear of synthetic foods and embrace organic sources. Avoid the consumption of refined oils, refined cereals, and refined grains as they can strain your kidneys, leading to increased workload and potential exhaustion. By adhering to these dietary guidelines, you promote overall well-being and support your body's natural detoxification processes. That is all for this video. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more videos. We'll see you in the next one.